Hi everyone, I'm Roxanne Karn, personal wardrobe stylist for women. I'm here to help transform your wardrobe and transform your life. And I wanted to put together this video for you because accessories are just, you know, a really fun part of fashion, specifically handbags. You know, handbags have been carried for centuries for us to carry our essentials in terms of, you know, things that we need day to day to get us from, you know, nine till five or beyond. So handbags really need to be functional, um, but they can certainly be stylish. But we also want to extend the life of them as long as we can, right? So we have these pieces that will serve us a lifetime and maybe even have pieces that we can uh, give to our daughters, our nieces, whomever, right? For the next generation, right? The whole sustainability thing. So anyhow, a few months ago, I was on ABC in the DC market and I actually did a quick video with them on their morning show on how to care for your handbags. And it was super quick. It was a three minute segment. Live television segments like that are usually typically very short. And there were some extra tips that I really wanted to share, but we just did not have the time. So I wanted to put together this video today um, to maybe recap on some of the tips that I shared before, but add a few in as well. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna be talking about tips on how to care for your handbags while you're using them, as well as when you're not using them, basically storage, all right? So let's jump into it. So my first tip for you when using your handbag is never, ever, ever place it on the ground. Okay, we never wanna have our beautiful bags on the ground. I don't care where you are, <laughs> right? If you, if your only option is to hold the bag, just hold the bag. But let's say you go out to lunch or dinner and clearly you wanna be hands-free for that. What you can do is get this little hook right here. This actually goes onto the table of where you're sitting. So you can just plunk it right there and then you just hang your handbag from that. So it's stable, it's even, and guess what? Your handbag is not touching the floor at all. You know, the, the ground is disgusting. There are lots of germs, and I'm a germaphobe, so I just can't handle it anyway. Who wants to put like their lovely handbag, a handbag that you may put on top of your bed or your desk or your dresser? Why would you wanna put that on the dirty floor? So you can carry around these hooks. Um, this one, of course, you know, I had to get like the blingy one for myself. This one is like a diamond engagement ring, but they have some hooks that actually are flat. I showed that when I was on TV that I mean, are like the size of a quarter and then you expand it so they don't take a lot of space and boom, you put it on the table and you're set. So that's my first tip for you. Never place your lovely handbags on the ground. My next tip for you while you are using your handbag, and this is really all coming down to personal preference and also the style of the bag, but when you have a bag that has a top handle like this, you always have the option of wrapping a scarf around it. So um, in the handbag realm, the most popular name for it is a Twilly. That's by Hermes. Um, Fendi, they call it a wrappy. But basically it is a thin scarf that usually is probably about one and a half, maybe two inches long. And it's a scarf that you can actually wear, you know, as a necktie piece uh, for your blouse or put it in your hair, um, something like that. But you can repurpose it and actually wrap it around your handbag handle. And there are different styles, there are different ways that you can wrap it. And it's really cool because when you do it properly, you can actually show a little bit of like the ends, minus the tag, but the ends on the, um, and the points to adorn your bag. So it looks really, really pretty. But the protection piece is so that we're not actually getting our 
you know, oil from our hands, makeup on our hands on the top handle of the purse. Um, Cause that really gets the most wear and tear if you think about it. So the scarf wrapped around it helps you protect it. Uh, again, this is a matter of personal preference. There may be some handbags such as the Louis Vuitton canvas bags that maybe have the Vachetta on top that you actually do want to have some of those oils go in. That's not necessarily, not necessarily something that you may want to to wrap up, but again, if you want to extend the life of it and prevent it from staining, this is always, always an option for you. Okay, so this next tip here is maybe a little bit extra, but hey, that's me. Um, and it's something that I actually do a lot. So when I am out and about and I'm driving and I have a substantial purse with me, and when I say substantial, I mean a purse that has quite a, a few of my essentials. It's not a clutch, you know, it's not like a small little cutesy purse that you just put your, you know, card holder and your lipstick and your phone in. It's something that I've got like things that I need to carry, okay? So for example, the peekaboo that I've shown before. So when I am driving with this, remember going back to my very first tip, I never place my handbags on the ground, not even in my own car, all right? Cause you know, the, the mats are for shoes, okay? So I'm not gonna place it there. What I do when I am driving and there's no one else in my car, in the passenger seat, I will actually put the bag on the passenger seat and I will put the seat belt on it, okay? And I do this for a couple reasons. A, for my bigger bag, like when I'm going to clients, I've actually got my laptop in there and so on. It can be a little bit weighty and my car will start beeping. This is actually how it all started. My car would start beeping because it thinks their passenger is in the car and the seatbelt isn't on. So I'm just like, ah. So yeah, I could, could put the seatbelt on behind it, but I started, and this is years ago, I started putting it around the bag. Now I do it in a way that it's gentle, it's not smooshing my bag or anything like that, but I like to do it because there have been times, doesn't happen often, but sometimes you have to slam on the brakes when you're driving, right? Somebody does a hard stop in front of you and you got to jam the brakes. The times that I've not had the seatbelt on my bag, I've had my bag completely fall over and the contents are spilled like out right into where the passenger's feet would go. And you can't do anything about it cause you're driving, you know? Um, you know, you're, you're not gonna, you can't just stop at the traffic light, gather all your things and put it back in your bag. So what I started doing was well, just, you know, putting the seat belt right on the bag. So my bag is protected. The car isn't screaming at me because it thinks that someone is in the passenger seat when there is not. And I don't have my contents of my, um, you know, bag going all over the place if I have to stop short. So um, put the seat belt on your bags. <laughs> My next tip for when you're using your bag on a daily basis is not to overstuff it. So you have to think about the scale of the bag and what it can carry in terms of capacity. And you also wanna reverse that thinking as well. So as you, like for me, I'm someone that I like to change my bags out every couple of days or so, because I like to rotate them, right? I don't wanna use the same bag and have that be completely warm. So I do change my purses often. However, when I'm thinking about what purse I want to move into for the day, I'm thinking about my day. Where am I going? Who am I seeing? What do I need to carry? Then I think about, okay, I'm gonna be carrying this amount of stuff, so I'm going to need this size bag. So that's important because I never want to be in a situation where I have a bag and I've got too many things that I'm trying to jam in it. And while it may technically be able to hold it, what you may end up doing, and this happened to me a long time ago with a leather bag, that it ended up stretching the bag out and it doesn't even have to be anything that's hard. I, re I remember I was in New York and I had a scarf. It was winter time. I had a big chunky scarf and I was stuffing it in my bag when I wasn't wearing it. And it actually stretched and, you know, ended up misshaping my bag. So I want you to be really, really careful about how much you're putting in your bag. Think about the scale, think about the volume, and then make the best decision on which bag you should carry. 
Another helpful tip for you when you are using your handbags is to maybe think about getting a felt insert to go inside the bag. So this is gonna be helpful if you want to protect the interior of the bag. So for luxury brands, there are a couple of um, brands that sell specific inserts for that model and shape and size. This one, for instance, is Samorga. And um, you, you, know, you can buy, you can actually get the felt in different thickness, thicknesses as well as colors. So I actually got this for my peekaboo. And if you just peer inside, it has like little pockets. So you could put like your cell phone in, your keys, but basically it sits right in the bottom of the purse and all your junk <laughs> goes in here and not in the interior of the bag. So you're not scratching the bottom. You know, if you're eating your little like candy bar or granola bar or something, you're not getting crumbs inside your actual bag. All of it goes in here. Now, what you wanna do is be really, really careful about the type of insert that you put into your bag. Because if you buy an insert that is not made necessarily specifically for the shape of the bag, it, it in a lot of cases, it will work just fine depending on how big the bag is. But if you get an insert that is not quite the right shape, it can misshape in your bag too, if you leave it in there for a long time. So just keep that in mind. Try to buy an insert that is made for your particular bag or, if you, you know, Amazon actually has a lot of insert options. You can get an insert, but definitely put it in the bag and see how it kind of interacts with the bag. If you, if you see that it's making any like protrusions or bulging or anything kind of strange like that, don't, don't use it. Um, but if it is okay, it can be a really, really good tool to help extend the life of your favorite handbags. So this tip is kind of a no brainer, but I like to share it anyway, because sometimes we just don't think ahead. So when you are going to be out and about, no matter what time of year it is, no matter what season, pay attention to the weather and pay attention to which handbag you're using. Uh, for example, you would never wear suede boots when you go out in the rain. Same deal, you would never wear like a suede handbag out in the rain. So just be mindful of the textiles of the materials to see, you know, what the weather is like, what it's going to be interacting with, um, and be very, very protective of your purse. So speaking of suede, if you get a new suede handbag, and I mean, this actually goes for anything that you own in suede. It could be a blazer, it could be, um, you know, shorts, boots, what have you, but with handbags especially, because you're gonna be, would be using that a lot more than one item of clothing, I would recommend getting it treated okay, with a spray protectant. You can buy these on Amazon if you feel confident to do it yourself, and it really is pretty easy to do. But if you want to get that expert touch, a lot of times a cobbler, your local cobbler, will do this for you. So I would say as a word of caution, anything suede, get it protected right off the bat, because guess what? You know, the weather can change. You can be out thinking, oh, it's gonna be a sunny day, and then the clouds roll in, it starts raining, and then your bag is getting wet. So we wanna protect it as much as possible. Definitely get that spray protectant on before you start using your suede bags. My next tip is centered on pens, okay? So for pens, I never just drop a regular pen in my handbag. Whether it's ballpoint, this one is like, um, I love these pens, these are the Precise V7s. They're kind of like, like a really nice inky fountain pen. This pen has a tendency to explode on planes, okay? which is not a good look. So I never actually travel with these. Um, ball points are usually the way that I would go for travel. But when I'm out and about around town, because it is like liquid ink, or even if it was any other type of pen, I put it in a pen protector. So this is a cool one that I got on Amazon. It's leather. I don't think I spent more than like 20 or 30 bucks for it. But um, I put my pen in here and then this goes in my purse. So that if any leaks happen, it will happen in the case and not all over my beautiful leather bag. So I hope this tip is really, really helpful for you because I don't think a lot of people think about this. 
Okay, so I'm gonna bring out a little bit of extraness yet again. Again, that's me, what can I say? I'm a handbag fiend and I do everything I can to protect my investments. But um, when it comes to traveling on a plane, especially if you're taking your handbag with you and it's not getting checked in, suit in your suitcase or anything like that, I really recommend traveling with a dust bag for your purse. It can be the dust bag that came with the purse it can be a dust bag that you buy on Amazon because you can buy dust bags on Amazon as well. I don't really care what it is. Um, as long as you are going to put it around your purse before you take your purse and you stuff it underneath in a seat in front of you or you put it in the overhead compartment. Planes are dirty, you know, that's where like shoes and feet are going up ahead in the overhead compartment. You've got all sorts of like little suitcases with nasty wheels that can, you know, mark up your bags. You have people that are like jamming their stuff right up against yours. I would say just protect your purse and carry your dust bag. The great thing is the dust bag folds down so you could easily place it right inside the purse you know, provided that you have room and carry it. And then when it's time for you to get seated and get on your way, just wrap that bad boy up and slide it under the seat in front of you or put it in the overhead and your purse will be protected. So that's when you are traveling with the purse. And I do also have another tip for you in terms of traveling and putting your, your purse in the suitcase. When you do that, make sure that you stuff the bag. Okay, this actually kind of forays a little bit into the storage piece, but you wanna stuff the bag so it's not flattened. You know, when you're traveling, you've got your clothes, you have your shoes, your toiletries. You don't want that smooshing your bag and again, changing the shape. So stuff the bag and then place the bag in the dust bag to protect it and your bag will be ready to go with the rest of the cargo. So now in this part of the video, I'm going to share my favorite tips on what to do when you're actually storing your handbags, when you're not using them. So when I am done with my bag at the end of the day, I empty the contents, uh, unless I know I'm going to use it the next day, but even sometimes I still do empty it depending on what's in there because I don't want things to get misshapen again. I'm a nerd about that, what can I say? But um, basically what I do after I empty it is that I actually take a microfiber towel and I will wipe the hardware, give it a nice little buff. And I do this to again, remove any oils that are on the bag or um, the hardware. But I also wipe down the bag as well. So if it's a soft leather, I'll just wipe it. Again, just getting off any excess oils. Even if it's not anything that you see, I just like to give it a nice wipe down just to make sure that there is nothing on there. And I'm again also wiping the, um, the hardware to remove fingerprints, um, anything that may have touched it. Uh, and it's also a good opportunity for me to kind of inspect the hardware and see, you know, were there any scratches that happened? Is there anything that I need to pay, uh, you know, particular attention to? So it just takes two seconds. Just give your bag a gentle wipe down. The microfiber, I'll use this probably about three or four times because you know it's not like I'm coming home with a bag that's filthy every day. So I'll use this about three or four times before tossing it in the wash. But um, this will help extend the life and beauty of your handbags. Okay, so when it comes to storing your handbag, um, you want to make sure that you are stuffing it. Uh, with the, ideally with any stuffing that it perhaps already came with. A lot of handbags, if you're buying them brand new, will come with stuffing. It's kind of already shaped to the bag, so I never throw that away. I just put it right back in. But there are some times where you buy a bag and there is no stuffing, okay? So what I recommend doing, my favorite hack for this, is to use air pillows. So these are air pillows that you get with packages that come like every day from Amazon. They come in all sizes and you just kind of, you know, tear it because they usually have a little perforation. So if you need one or two, put the two in the handbag. If you just need one or you need a bunch for a bigger one, but use this and there you go. There's the cushion. 
Just don't overstuff it because again, we don't want to any, have anything misshapen, but this is really, really important to help maintain the structure of the bag. Because if you put a bag on your shelf and it is not stuffed and you're not using it, it may have a tendency to fold. It may have a tendency to kind of buckle a little bit and settle. So that's something that you definitely don't want to have because that is going to ruin the shape of your handbag. So again, the hack is to repurpose the air pillows that come with packages that you receive if you don't get stuffing with your bag already. And speaking of structure for your bag, what you also need to make sure that you're doing is that you are sitting your bags upright when you're storing them on um, your shelves or in your cabinets or in your wardrobe, okay? So you want it to sit flat on your shelf. Of course, it's gonna be stuffed to the right capacity, um, but you never want to lay your bag on the side or like lean it up on something, you know, lean it up on another bag. No, 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 no. Because again, that is going to, over time, it's going to um, really diminish the integrity of the bag in terms of its structure. So it's not rocket science. You are going to sit it straight up and down, have it stuffed. And then the next tip actually that rolls off to this is whenever possible, store it in that dust bag so that you are protecting the bag from light, specifically sunlight. Um, and also you want to protect it from dust. Okay. So that's my tip for you in, um, you know, storing your handbags on shelves. So following on from my tip about storing your bags upright, keeping them stuffed and in the dust bag, um, just extending that thought a bit, we want to make sure that we're keeping the bag in an environment that is cool and dark. Um, and when I say dark, I don't mean like pitch black, but you know, if you have a lot of windows in your room that are just, you know, glaring like right on the handbags over time, that sunshine is going to fade your handbag. You do not want that to happen. And then when we were thinking about temperature, we really don't want to have your handbags in very humid environments because you know what? It doesn't happen often, but I have seen it happen. Handbags can get mold. And once that starts, in a lot of cases, you really can't reverse it depending on the material. So um, I really want you to be mindful of the temperature. You wanna have good air circulation. Um, I know in the summertime, sometimes when it gets a little bit too humid, I will put a dehumidifier in my room, in my dressing room for a little bit, just to balance things out. Another thing that you can do is insert desiccants, and you can buy these on Amazon as well, but you can insert desiccants both inside the bag and then between their bag and the dust bag. So you'll have it on the outside as well. The desiccants will absorb moisture in the air, just again, to prevent molding. That's why desiccants arrive in packages that we get for shoes and clothing and handbags, you'll see the little packets that say do not eat, <laughs> right? They're there to absorb any moisture and humidity in the air to prevent molding. So that's a really important tip for you too. Okay, so those were my top tips on how to take care of your bag both while you're using it and while you're not using it, AKA when it's in storage. These are tips that you know, I live by. Um, that's why I wanted to share it with you because again, I really take pride in everything that I own, in my clothes, in my shoes, in my handbags. And one thing that I see that gets abused again and again and again with my ladies is the handbag. So let's protect the handbag. Let's extend the life of it. Let's have something fantastic that we can pass on to a loved one um, with pride. And in the long run, it will also save you money. So I would love to know if there are any other cool handbag, you know, usage or storage tips that you have um, that I didn't cover. I would love to learn from you and share with the community as well. So drop a comment section. And if there was a tip that I shared that you hadn't heard before, definitely let me know that too. I always try to be helpful with my content. And in that vein, if there is any particular videos or subjects that you want me to cover as it relates to fashion and style, definitely drop that in the comment section.
section below. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's a big help to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video. Bye.